Hello everyone, Pete here, and yes, the day has finally arrived where Steam OS has now officially released for Windows PC gaming handhelds. So the big question now is, should you install it right now for your RG Ally or Ally X? Well, let's blast through the six reasons why, yes, you absolutely should install the official Steam OS right now, and also four reasons why, no, it's really not a good idea. Plus, I'll share four aspects to consider with this brand new official Steam OS release, and also give my recommendation on whether you should install this or not. So the first reason why you should install the official Steam OS is a Decaloader plugin called CSS Loader, which completely transforms our game library to give it a slick console-like interface. My favorite theme is called Art Hero, and there is a ton of customization we can do here. And coupled with another Decaloader plugin called Steam Grid DB, where we can easily select from a ton of game artwork is simply incredible. At two is another Decaloader plugin called Bluetooth that makes connecting to our AirPods or Bluetooth earphones or headphones so much easier than messing around in Windows settings. At three is a final Decaloader plugin I'll highlight called Vibrant Deck. And this is incredible as it truly makes us feel like our Ally or AliX has a gorgeous OLED screen when we bump up the vibrancy fader. Not only that, but SteamOS itself in settings now has its own Vibrance slider. This is a fantastic feature, and I really do hope that this comes to Windows sooner than later. Reason four to install Steam OS is that there are certain games, particularly in Switch emulation, which do tend to be smoother when playing using Steam OS than in Windows for some reason. My Steam OS Switch guide is just about to hit 200,000 views, so a huge thanks to you awesome viewers for that, and I'll drop a link to it below. At five is that Emulation Station, which is the best way to play all of our favorite childhood retro games. It definitely does feel more refined on Steam OS due to the fact that it was made first and foremost for SteamOS and then got ported over to Windows. And finally at six is probably the best reason to install SteamOS, which is true sleep and resume functionality. So that for example, when I'm at my favorite restaurant here in the UK, which is Nando's, I can just hit sleep and then pretty much instantly wake up and continue on back at home. So let's now go through the five reasons not to install the new official SteamOS. And that one is that if you love playing online games that require anti-cheat software like the amazing Black Ops 6, then you're out of luck doing this on SteamOS due to Linux, which SteamOS is based on, does not support anti-cheat systems. At two is that games that require third-party launchers, like FC2425 that need the EA Play app, is so much easier and better to do on Windows than on SteamOS. Reason three not to install the official SteamOS is that two great frame gen technologies in the newly released AMD Fluid Motion Frames 2.1, and also the incredible lossless scaling three, which doubles our FPS in games to make gameplay so much smoother and more enjoyable are both not available for Steam OS. They are only on Windows. So if you're one of the many of us Windows users who enjoy using either of these, then yep, you'll definitely miss out on these if you install Steam OS. And reason four is probably the biggest advantage that Windows has over Steam OS, which not many other YouTubers highlight is native Game Pass, which is the ability to install Game Pass games natively on our Ally or Ally X, which is just not possible on Steam OS. And this is absolutely crucial, especially if you're like me, in that you don't have a vast Steam library due to only getting into PC gaming these past few years. And with Game Pass absolutely killing it right now, like one of the hottest games at the moment in Claire Obscure Expedition 33, the amazing Microsoft Flight Sim 2024, which I'm amazed even works at all on a handheld, the criminally underrated South of Midnight, which you have to check out if you haven't done so already, or the brand new AAA Game Pass Day One release in Doom the Dark Ages. Then installing these mind-blowing Game Pass games natively through the Xbox app is just not possible on Steam OS. So there are four things to know at the time of recording about the official Steam OS that just released. The first is that Valve have very kindly provided instructions in how to install on the Ally and I'll drop a link to that below. At two is that while this official Steam OS release supports the Legion Go S, that Valve warns that support for all other devices is not final, which means that the Ally and Ally X are both kind of officially unsupported currently. At three is that the official Steam OS is currently throttling the TDP to just 15 watts, although this can be adjusted using a Decaloader plugin called Decit TDP. Even more worrying at four is that controller issues on the Ally are being reported widely online, which currently isn't very good. 
So should you install this brand new official SteamOS release? Well, my recommendation is that if you do play a lot of online games that require anti-cheats or third-party launchers, want to install Game Pass games natively, or use lossless scaling, then nah, just stick to Windows, which offers all of these amazing benefits. And if you do want SteamOS, then perhaps just wait for a few months till issues like the locked 15 watt TDP and also issues with the allies controls are sorted out completely. Or it may instead just be better to install the incredible Bazite, which has amazing features like the handheld daemon settings area. And I would strongly suggest setting up dual boot to give us the very best of SteamOS and also Windows. My Bazite dual boot setup guide is in my recent 2025 Ultimate Starter setup guide, which is two hours packed full of tutorials, and I'll leave a link to that below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the official SteamOS release. Are you planning to install it? Or have you already installed it? Stay tuned to the channel as I will be doing a setup guide when it does officially support the RG Ally and Ally X. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Don't cry over the past, it's gone. Don't stress about the future, it hasn't arrived. Live in the present and make it beautiful. Yes, this is an area I really do struggle with, which is just to focus on the here and now to remain in the present and to not think about regrets of the past or stresses in the future. So stay encouraged today, guys. And as an extra bonus treat for staying right to the end, here's our gorgeous rescue cat and her name is Pancake. If you enjoyed today's video then check out that two hour 2025 ultimate starter guide i mentioned earlier right here please like subscribe thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one